must seem that we always eat fried food in the caravan, like fried English breakfasts and all this good stuff. But actually, <laughs> this is a real treat, isn't it? Yeah. We very rarely eat this. Mm. Anyway, let's crack on. Yeah. Morning, everybody. It is morning still, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, you find us in the Brecon Beacons Caravan and Motown Club site, pitch number 22. Um, and we recorded nothing of us getting here, nothing of us setting up, and very little yesterday. In fact, yesterday, our first day, was a complete washout. It was a bit wet. <laughs> we did venture into Brecon Town Centre itself. Well, no, let's start from the first night. Shall we mm -hmm. do that? First night we arrived here, Angela's birthday, by the way, 53. You liar. She's looking good, isn't she? 53. You liar. Uh, no, she's actually 27. She just had a very hard paper round. Um, so, yes, it was your birthday on Wednesday. Yeah. Congratulations. Made it another year. Yeah. Um, and we decided that we'd go out for, well, not go out, but we'd get a takeaway. Mm. Um, and we had a good look around to see what was available in uh, Brecon. And there was a few... Uh, there was a Thai place. Yes. And there was a few Chinesey places. Because um, you'd much rather have a Chinese over a Indian, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. And, um, and we always have fish and chips when we're away. So we thought, well, we'll break with tradition and we'll have a Chinese takeaway. So we found this one particular Chinese takeaway, which did look particularly dodgy. Um, but the star reviews were pretty good for it. It was like four yeah. and a half something at five you know it's very good so we thought well we'll risk it for a biscuit so we trundled into Brecon found this place it did look well dodge it's basically an old house <laughs> that's been converted into a, basically a takeaway yeah the living room was the waiting room yeah it was bizarre and I think the kitchen was upstairs no the kitchen was round the back was it because yeah. I heard her running upstairs I don't know what that no, was. No, that's because she was getting uh, the young lad to come down. Ah, uh, right, okay. okay. Yeah. Anyway, so we went there. We had our usual um, things that we like from the Chinese takeaway. Sweet sour chicken, chow mein, crispy shredded beef, usual sort of stuff. Yeah. Came back to the van, managed to s eat most of it. Yeah. Well, half of it. Because <laughs> we always order way too much. Always order way too much. Yeah. So, um Yes, anyway, so we ate that. It was okay, wasn't it? It was. It was very good. So I do recommend it, actually, if you're in the mood for Chinese. What is it? Bow? Bow Country. Bow Country on Watton Road? Yes, what, 89 Watton Road. Oh, look at you, your memory. Gosh, truth. Uh, 89 Watton Road on the way into Brecon. You can't miss it. It's literally from here to there. So it's dead easy. Um, so that was our first night. And then it started to rain. Well, it was raining when we were travelling up here. It was raining when we were trying to set up. Yeah. It was raining all through the night. We woke up yesterday morning to snow on top on, of the car, on top of the, car the, caravan. the caravan, some mornings, and all the hills in the background, which you can't quite see, mm. all the hills were all covered in snow. It was beautiful. Mm. So, and then it just rained all morning. So we thought, well, we're going to go, we're, we can't sit in the van all day. Mm. We thought, well, we'll nip into Brecon, which we did. Yeah. Um, and I'm really glad we did because we went into. Um, Went to that gift shop where we bought the, that room spray from. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it. I've got it on camera. Yeah. Um, that was really good. When, then where did we go? Elsa's Crystals. We went to the crystal shop. You yeah. bought some crystals. Um, we then went to... Aldi. The, no, we went to the butchers. <laughs> oh yes, the butchers. We went to the butchers, which I will tell you now, if you are in the mood for a decent sausage and take that however you want, but if you're in the mood for a really lovely sausage, because um, we're quite fond of a decent banger, aren't we? Yeah. We went to um, is that Easts? Yes, Easts of Brecon. Yeah. We went there, uh, Easts of Brecon, and we bought the thick pork sausage. And I've got to tell you, they are good. They are bloody good. I really enjoyed that. Mm. Um, yeah. So if you are in the mood for a decent banger, that's the place to go. I'm trying to say it without sounding like an innuendo, because I know you want to burst into laughter because you like the way I say sausage. You are so silly. <laughs> I'm making myself people now. Sausage. Sorry. 
grow up. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so we were in the mood for a decent bang and go there. So in the afternoon, we came back here and we actually did nothing. Absolutely nothing. You read your book. Yeah. I played on my Steam Deck. I didn't think we had an afternoon nap though. No. Good for me. Um, so we did. We just did nothing. Watched a bit of TV last night and just generally did nothing. This morning we've had a, a really nice full English. Yeah. Or a Welsh breakfast. Don't suppose you can say that around these parts, can you? <laughs> full cooked breakfast. There you are. There you go. Um, so we had that this morning, and uh, it was good. Yeah. Now we're getting ready to go out because it's sunny, it's lovely, and uh, we're going to go for a drive over the beacons. And we're going to head on to the distillery today, I think, and we're going to buy some Brecon gin. And scotch, maybe. No, you can't say that round here either, can you? Whiskey. There you are. We'll buy some Brecon whiskey and some Brecon gin. Maybe. Yeah. You can't drink as much. I can't drink as much, but, you know, it's good to have it on the shelf. <laughs> so let me get myself sorted and let's go. Yeah. So, like I said, we're on pitch 22, which is over on the far western side no eastern side of the campsite so as you can see there that's the rest of the campsite over the hedge there still not very full over there over on the other side but uh, we're over here quite quiet behind us is all the grass pitches which are still closed obviously for obvious reasons because it's so very very wet um, and over there is the play area in the background over the second hedge that banging i don't know if you can hear it that's from the shooting range that's the first of two facilities block up there. That's the one that we're using. That's closed between 10 and 12. Uh, TV reception is very good. Vertically polarized antenna for maximum channels. We managed to get about 68 channels, I think it was, but it's very good. Internet speeds are excellent. We're using Sky Mobile. Um, it's about 11 megs up, 11 megs down for our onboard uh, system. And that means that we can stream TV without any issues at all. I'm just going to stand in the caravan to show you this but over in the corner there is access to the dog walk area as well and you can just about see some of the stuff there in the playground there is a bit of road noise here from the a40 which is just over that horizon just over that hedge line there there's the a40 over there but apart from that it's not too bad at all it's very quiet but the view is fantastic and there's the hills there in the background it's absolutely stunning Well, here we are, just about 20 minute drive away from the campsite. We're at the Penderen Distillery. It's whiskey and gins. Looking forward to this. Oh dear, look at these. Madeiras. Oh my goodness. Oh, and that face doesn't say she loves it. No. So Angela's just tried this, the chocolate orange with, with ginger, ginger ale. And yeah, now it's the rhubarb. And then we're going to try the rose petal in a minute as well. Rose petal being done with elderflower. Rose petal and elderflower. And the rhubarb and cranberry goes in with the Mediterranean. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. And they're the fever trees. And we're definitely buying some special reserve. Yes. Definitely. So what have we got here then? So we've got the rose petal yeah. and the rhubarb and cranberry. Yes. Okay. So we've got the tonics here for you, so try them first. Bless mm -hmm. you, thank you. And then I'll put the tonics in later. Okay. Thank you. So we'll go with the rose first. It's almost like a Turkish delight smell to it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely needs tonics. <laughs> Let's have a smell of that one. Honestly. Look at that cup. Your nails go so well with that colour. <laughs> go on. Go on, down the hatch, kid. That's definitely better, like that. Yeah? Yeah, you definitely need the tonic with yeah. it. Yeah? Yeah. Is that nice? To be fair, I'm not actually that keen on it. No? 
No. Oh, you've got all the rest of it to go, yeah? I know. <laughs> right. Okay, rhubarb and cranberry. Uh -huh. Yeah. Smells quite nice. Yeah, that does smell good actually. It's nine o'clock in the morning and we're drinking gin. It's not nine o'clock. Sorry, ten past nine. It's ten past twelve. Is it really? Absolutely. We're afternoon now, so it's fine. Oh, it's fine. The pubs are open somewhere. No. Five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock somewhere. Right, and I think we've got our fair share of goodies from the distillery. And just like that, it's raining. Ugh. Do you have coffee now you've had all that alcohol? Definitely too much alcohol. <laughs> just had to stop on the way back because I don't know if you can see it, but just there, there is a very low level rainbow and it's absolutely beautiful. So we thought we'd stop here because not only is it blue sky, but there's a chance for a coffee at the snack van. So the journey home has now turned into find a coffee for Angela so she can sober up. And That's also and also find a waterfall now as well. So this is the epic hunt for a waterfall episode, right? There's quite a few. There is. So we've just stopped off here. We've just grabbed ourselves a nice brew. The view over there is beautiful. Um, but we're gonna go on down to the next pull-in spot um, and walk back towards a waterfall, I hope. So yeah. let's go and do that right now. So we've just walked up to here and uh, there's a little waterfall here which is very beautiful and Angela's taking some photos of this one here and this is literally just the other side of the pull-in and we're just parked over there so it's really easy I don't think we're gonna brave it much longer because the blue sky is that way but the encroaching grey sky and rain is now coming in and if you can just see over the hill you can't, which means it's raining. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a Pendering Distillery Horn. Like and subscribe, hashtag not sponsored. Right, what have we got today? Let's go through it. Did you like my intro, by the way? That was hilarious. Thank you. Very camp. Thank you. Very camp, <laughs> very camp. I seem to do it right, don't I? <laughs> okay, so we've got ourselves a, a jigger measure. Yeah. Um, got myself a little glass for this because I can't drink that out of a plastic beaker. I'm sorry, I just can't. We got ourselves the chocolate orange uh, Brecon gin, which was very nice with a bit of ginger ale, which we do have here in the van. Mm -hmm. And we also got ourselves some of the uh, special reserve, is that called? It is. Yeah, special reserve Brecon gin, which is absolutely stonking. Our very dear friend Jan bought us one of those many moons ago. It was so nice, it went pretty quick. We were drinking that at Trudge Fest at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that was dangerous. And that was dangerous, but it it, it was it felt right. <laughs> anyway, it's not 10 o'clock in the morning. It is now mid-afternoon. No, it's not. It's 2, two o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's 2 o'clock, so um, we're not going to touch any of this until later on. Mm -hmm. um, what we are going to have right now, though, is a cup of tea, a hot cross bun with Welsh butter. Yes. Right, good evening ladies and gentlemen. We are back, we've had our um, hot cross bun. We had a bit of the pie that we bought yesterday in the butchers, which was too porky for you, <laughs> but just enough pork for me. And now we're going to be sampling some of the whiskies that I have purchased from Penderin. This is the Madeira one. Well, you're gonna be sampling it. Yeah, Angela I doesn't like whiskey, whiskey, so it's for me. So you'll be able to see my reaction to drinking this beautiful and don't you think the glass looks lovely as well oh that is very oh that's nice <laughs> cheers by the way oh dear 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> now I usually like a peaty whiskey, like something like Jorah or Talisker. Mm -hmm. They're my favorite whiskeys. That's not peaty at all. Mm. Bloody hell. <laughs> What's the percentage? Oh, pretty, pretty high, probably 40 something. But that is so smooth. Whoops. So we're making ourselves one of our favourite, favourite drinks. We treated Mac and Sarah to these when we socialised with them, didn't we? Yes, we did. And uh, this is our favourite drink. Um, put, 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 put. You have a measure now, Angela. Where did you put the bag? The bag is in the sideboard, as I'm calling it. <laughs> which is this cupboard down here. Which actually gets really used. For the weekends that are away, that, that cupboard is empty. Anyway, let me talk to you about the drink. Uh, so we're using a Cotswold gin. This is one of our favourite gins. It's a lovely, lovely drink, that one. Cotswold gin, mm -hmm. and then it's topped off with ginger ale. Not ginger beer, because mm -hmm. that's a bit too fiery, but ginger ale, which is really light and very, very gingery. Mm -hmm. um, and then we put in uh, a quarter of a, a lime as well, and it really does make the drink so, so nice. The interesting thing about this drink, as I'm sure you'll agree, is that in summer, it's a really refreshing, really lovely drink, isn't yeah. it? It's a long, slow drink, lovely. Yeah. And in winter, it's a heartwarming drink as well. Exactly the same. And if you do it with cinnamon, oh, it yeah, gives yeah, a, a yeah. spice. If you stir the drink with a cinnamon stick, yeah. it's superb. Um, I'm so glad we got ourselves a little measure. God, that feels like nothing gone in now. That's my normal measure. Is that your normal measure? Yeah. See, that's where I always make a mistake. That's why my measures, when I do a gin and drink, is, and excuse the phrase, people, my measures are normally referred to as dickhead measures. Yes. Because I get a bit, you know, over... Overzealous. Overzealous, and I usually put way too much in. So they go, a measure of gin, and then it's topped off with... Some ginger ale, anything will do. Fever Tree do a nice ginger ale, but we actually just yeah. buy the big bottles from um, from the supermarket, actually. Yeah. So squeeze a lime in there. And then drop it in. <laughs> I do love this drink. Oh yeah. Very good. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going straight in. Gonna chink me jink. Chink you what? What I said. Drink. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That'll do. That'll calm the shakes. Yeah. Right, onward to cook dinner. So for tonight's dinner, again bought from butchers, linted man, linted man steak, cheapers, creepers. Let's do that again. <laughs> oh my god. So for tonight's dinner. We've got minted lamb steaks, pita bread, and salad. Oh, do you want hummus with it as well? We can do a bit of hummus if you yeah, want. Yeah, let's do that. These, from the butchers, look sensational. Let me show them to you now. After a couple of whiskeys and a gin, you know my speech is going a little bit... Oh, I think you can see them there. I'm just going to put them straight in the pan, I think. Okay. Right, and here we are then. That is dinner sorted for tonight. Mm -hmm. So there we go, that's dinner. So we've got minted lamb steaks, a lump of hummus, a really nice looking salad, and pizza breads. Yeah. Yes. Right, so you've made me have two gins, one whiskey. <gasps> you've done that. And you're making me play black, because I never play black, I always play white. I haven't got my system in place for playing black. So this is your opportunity to, to basically beat me. Yeah, I don't see that happening, <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> go on then, you go first. Have you been studying my system? No. Call a draw. It would be a draw because I'll just follow you down the board. It's not as if you can do anything. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> right, well, tomorrow we are going waterfall hunting 
Yeah. Um, we went on the way back from um, a distillery. We went into the information center. Yes. And we've picked up a couple of booklets, which we'll go through tomorrow with you. But Angela's bought a wonderful pack, um, which goes through a load of waterfalls in this area. And uh, it's got some gradings on the difficulty, how long it takes you to get there, the spectacular, the wow factor, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the wow factor. Really, really good little pack that Angela's picked up. We're going to go through that tomorrow, but tomorrow we are weather permitting. Yeah. We're going to go and try and find some really nice waterfalls. And I I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Yeah. Uh, nice long walk. And, um, you know, it'd be really interesting. Um, but for the rest of the evening, I think we're going to watch a couple of films and then turn in for the night. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. Maybe a cup of tea as well. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway. Right, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>